all right hello everyone and welcome to d20 woodworking i am your host jason and uh tonight we are playing marvel champions we are doing war machine versus ebony mall uh excited to, to, to play this one uh i have not done anything yet with war machine so i have no idea how he plays if he's any good or anything like that especially for solo um so i will get into all of that in a second but first first let's uh let's go over some of the, the basic stuff if you could do me a favor like this video hit the subscribe button hit um what is it notifications yeah, i'm already losing my brain <laughs> turn on notifications so that you know that every time in the future when i go live you'll know about it and you can see awesome streams like this one where i'm doing marvel champions saturday i'll be doing arkham horror uh sunday i'll be streaming somewhere else i was gonna do too many bones but i decided to stream with the living card gamer and then in the future I'll be doing some more lord of the rings and all that fun stuff so um also in the description below make sure to check out my instagram page you can support me on patreon i've reworked it where you can give any amount that you feel is fair um we're going to be doing some new things on patreon that i'm kind of excited about you know after i play a lot of these scenarios or with certain heroes or against villains or for lord of the rings with certain heroes or whatever it is i usually have a lot of general thoughts um, so I think moving forward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording those thoughts, um, for Patreon members, right? Literally after the game ends, my initial thoughts right there, raw, kind of uncut, uh, directly for you all. So if you're interested in anything like that, and there's some other stuff I do too, make sure to check out the Patreon page. You can see my Etsy shop where I sell things like these wonderful tile holders that I use to hold different component parts. Um, I sell card holders, different things like that. There's more stuff coming next year, probably springtime. So uh, be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, Discord, we ne we we do such a poor job of promoting Discord, but um, the Living Card Gamer and myself, we run a Discord channel, mainly talking about LCGs. I have my own that I'm still working on in the background. 
But if you want to talk LCGs with us with new things that are happening, like Sinister Motives that was just announced, not announced, but the pre-order page was announced today. Everyone's excited. I'm super excited. I just finished earlier cutting a video for it. I'm editing soon, probably tomorrow, hopefully coming out the next day or so with my initial thoughts and feelings about that box. You'll want to see it. So another reason to follow the channel. Um, lastly, three more things. You can buy merchandising. Make sure to check it out. There's an Amazon affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you buy stuff through it, I make a little bit on a uh, commission off of it and it really helps the channel out. And lastly is my deck list. Uh, you can see exactly what I'm using for War Machine against Ebony Mall today. Um, and if you have any questions on it, let me know. So with that all being said, let us get down to the game table and, and talk a little bit about my setup and my strategy. All right. Uh, so thirsty today. It's just a weird day for that. So we are doing, we are doing Ebony Maw Standard 1. Now, I now have to differentiate that, right? Because we have a standard two. I'm doing standard one because we did standard two last night. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, but I still need to, to work some things out with it. But here's the thing. We're going to go through a war machine. I'm doing a leadership deck, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Because I think it will be... I think it will be good. And I think war machine will be built well for that, I think. Um, Ebony Maul is kind of my new test character. Him and Drang seem to be the two best ones to test out decks. So we're using Ebony Maul. If I win this right away pretty quick, we'll either do Standard 2 or Expert. Probably Standard 2, but we'll see. I guess it depends on how much I win by. Last thing I want to mention is in my screen this way, way over there, um, I'm no longer putting up the threat and the hero uh, stuff. It just it takes too long to do. It's sometimes not accurate and throws stuff off in the games. Um, so I'm trying without it for a little while. I may bring it back in. Let me know in the comments if you really want to see that those counters back. Um, they're easy enough to add, but I just I took them out for now. It's just it's a pain to be sitting here and then doing this right, then looking back over what was I doing. Okay, you know, stop gameplay. It is a lot. So taking out for now. Hopefully the camera is a little more zoomed in where you can see hopefully the counters and, and how much that down just a little bit. How much life is left and all that fun stuff. So let's talk about attack on nowhere. Ebony Maul leads an assault on nowhere in order to capture the power stones stored within. So we have Ebony Maul, uh, one, we'll be going up to two. We have standard camera sets and two modular armies of Titan and Black Water. So let me just shuffle this first. His whole gimmick is that he uses spells basically, right? He casts spells and, and they have counters on them. It's like picking time bombs almost. It's kind of a cool scenario in the way it works. So when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell environment is discarded and puts into play in their play area. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. It starts with one threat. Goes up to six. So spell. Nope. 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 Wow. An environment spell. All right. So it's put into play so we don't have to worry about surge. Uh, enters with three invocation counters on it. After the last one is removed from this card, you discard it and exhaust each upgrade you control and you're stunned. It's an interesting one. Right, cool. So let us get three generic counters. I'll be hopefully getting the upgraded counter soon. Hopefully. Uh, I gotta get them now. All right. Okay, that's pretty well shuffled. So basically each time he activates, we remove one of those counters. When, after the last one's removed, the other. so on the third, his third turn, right? This will be um, an issue. So, oops, I have a flip on more machine. Roads, roadie. All right, so one of the cool things about him is that you choose a War Machine card in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. I like that. So that basically gives us a, throw, a free throwaway card that you know, lets us draw up a little bit higher. So we, we can start the game with seven cards, which is nice. Already looking at Rhodes, Rhodey in general, um, he wants to be on 
alter ego it seems like like quite a bit so we'll, we'll see i always get nervous with that with solo especially only six threat that's not that much he's scheming for two i'm a little worried about that but we'll see we'll see and after you change this form discard all ammo counters all right so gauntlet gun i absolutely want a double with black panther which is good repulsor beam last stand which i don't need squirrel girl i probably don't need so we're halfway to black panther which is kind of nice now i want both these cards but what i can do is get rid of this one because i can draw it back in right so i can get rid of one so i draw up three more cards one queen carrier repulsor beam and team training all right so choose a war machine card in your discard pile and shuff oh shuffle it into your deck sorry it was backwards sorry i screwed up screwed up that should have been that card we're gonna shuffle that back in your deck no, it's like slightly cheating, but this is my first time playing with him. So yeah, you don't start with extras, but you just, it's almost like a free throw away card, essentially. Especially if you don't need it right away. All right. So. Um, as much as I would love to get Black Panther out there. And Queen Carrier. Over. So when we flip over, uh, we get five ammo counters. All right, so it would be really nice. Yeah, this is yeah we're gonna we're gonna actually get rid of team training and Black Panther, which stings. But get Gauntlet Gun out there. Then we're going to exhaust Gauntlet Gun to generate a wild resource for a War Machine event, which is this, and place one ammo counter on War Machine. So we place one on, and then we're gonna remove one ammo counter from War Machine to deal. We're gonna put that off the side. Deal four damage to the enemy, dropping him down to ten already. So I like that system already. I like I like how that works. Um, so we still have a double. And we still have a Queen Carrier. Let's see how that goes. All right, so I can do two more damage off the bat. Uh, bring him down to eight. We're already hitting hard. I mean, hitting six already. I mean that's pretty impressive i am a fan to say the least so that is that we are going to keep on james's or on war machine side we'll go back up so three four five one two three four. all right well we got us agent which is really big so he's going to become our blocker so he schemes for one or that's a scheme i'm sorry you get one threat on, on you advance one threat on the main scheme up to two so he's going to activate, so we remove one counter from here. Nothing happens yet, right? Because it's still at one. So he activated, now he's going to attack. Um, I'm probably just going to take it, right? Just, just take it, see what happens. So one attack, two, three. Three damage. Two, three. All right, and then we get our back card. Black Order Infantry. As a guard, give the villain a tough status card. It's tough. Heh. <laughs> Alright, so tough status. I have to do four damage to that thing. That's right. We have some we have some cards to deal with that. So what we'll do is we'll exhaust this once again to gain one ammo counter. And we'll play Repulsor Beam to remove the one counter. And deal four damage to an enemy we'll do it off of this so that's taken care of then we will do a double plus queen carrier to play us agent i'm gonna hold on to iron man so i think that would be good i think i don't know we'll see queen carrier I just i feel like i can't get that out yet i feel like i have too many cards already which is which is super awesome um all right so let's let's ping him for one just to get that top off. All right, let's get that tough status off. So we don't have to worry about that. He's basically just gonna become a glorified blocker in a second. Hey, Mark, good to see you, man. And yes, I am excited to get that gauntlet early. Um, hopefully we can get the other one going too. I don't even know if you need the other one, right? I think there's two in the deck. Um, I don't even know if you need the other one, to be honest, except for maybe full assault or whatever it's called. But um, okay, so we pinged one. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna thwart for one, just I want to keep this down. I know I should really just be attacking him, but let's just let's just keep that down a little bit. I still I still worry about that. So let us refresh. We'll hold on to Iron Man. 
Scorched Earth. Remove three ammo counters from War Machine. Deal three damage to each enemy in the play area. Yeah. Full auto is what we're looking for. One, two, three, four. The other gauntlet gun, five. Oh, a double. All right. So this goes up, back up to two. Uh, this activates. So one counter goes off of it. And he is going to attack. So I am going to block this with US Agent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just because I want to retaliate. It's really what it comes down to. So he's attacking US Agent for one. Discard one card at random from your hand. Ooh. All right. I'm going to pick the second one from the top. So not that one. That one. Oh, it's the best one to get rid of. That worked out. So he does one damage. US Agent has um, two damage on him. Pings him back for one. So Ebony Maw is down to set. Perfect. Let's get her bad card. Spell. Gain Surge. Uh, enters with two counters on it. After the last one is removed, discard one card at random from your hand. Ooh. All right, so Surge. We got a side scheme. Reactor Overload. Three. Three Thwart on it. Or three scheme on it. Or three threat. Jeez. When revealed, each player must choose to either place two damage or place two threat here. Or take two damage or place two threat here. Hmm. Well, I guess what we could do is just start getting super aggressive, right? Let's go let's go up two. Because we have some heavy attacks coming. And we're gonna be able to do eight damage. Full auto. I mean, I know he's at seven, but might as well just do the eight, right? Get the next version of him in and start wailing away, maybe. Because we don't have to worry about Scorched Earth. I'm not going to worry about the gun if we're going to start going crazy. So, all right. All right. So here's, here's what we got going. Iron Man, which might be kind of useless at this point. Scorch Earth, which is kind of useless at this point. And this gun upgrade, which would be good, but I think we have to start already kind of hurrying up. Um, because there's no real sense of flipping over. And we're going to discard an upgrade. Well, actually, we're going to get rid of an upgrade your control. So what I can do is hold on to the gun. Because then I'll get rid of that upgrade maybe pay for the next one. That, that might be the strategy we do. And we might just get rid of Iron Man. I like him at all, but not that much. All right. Let's, um, so let's do full auto. We'll pay for it. Using Gauntlet Gun. We get one thing, resource. We'll throw away Iron Man. And use full Full auto. So remove four ammo counters. So we're down to our last two. For more machine. And choose an enemy. Deal eight damage to that enemy. This attack gains overkill. So he is knocked out of the stage. Which is insane that we did that in two rounds. We put him in. Alright. So. He needs 18 life. And I have to do his one reveal thing. I just I won't forget about it. So, 16. All right. Uh, force interrupt. Activates against you. Remove an invocation from each spell card in your play area. That's fine. All right. Each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell card and puts that card into play in their player. So it doesn't get shuffled back up. So hopefully we get rid of some good ones. Or it's the very first one. <laughs> Manipulation. All right. So. Same exact thing. We'll be discarding two random cards essentially from our hand. Uh, that one time so i think i'm actually going to get well hold on, i'm sorry we have to attack for two with war machine i think i'm going to get rid of scorched earth because three ammo counters we don't have that right um and deal three damage to each enemy in play to get shoulder cannon cannons basically game over okay we can we can retroact. We can we can take that back. I'll throw away Scorch Earth. I'll hold on to Iron Man. It's a good idea. I don't I don't even know what shoulder cannon is, so I'm already a fan. If it if it leads to the end game. <laughs> so we'll hold on to Iron Man. We will hold on to our gauntlet gun because we're probably gonna lose no, we are gonna lose it the next turn. So let us refresh. 
and draw back up. So two, three, four, five. All right. Main is up to three now, halfway there. He activates, so we get rid of one, one, and this one. So after the last invocation counter is removed uh, from pacification, discard it. Exhaust. Oh, exhaust. Holy cow, I can't read. Exhaust, which is nice. And then I'm stuck. So that's good to know. So I don't have to worry about my other gun thing that much. Well, still, I guess it'll be good to have. And we'll get it out there. Especially for shoulder cannon. Two. Well, maybe we'll do Iron Man right away. All right, well, 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 I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's that. Uh, he's going to attack for two now. We are going to block it once again with US Agent. Um, so swinging two and a zero gets rid of Assault, which is fantastic. So that's now four damage on him. Still alive. Retaliates once. Down to 15. And then we get her back. All right, Treachery. When revealed, remove one spell... Or, I'm sorry, one invocation counter from each spell environment in your play area. If you have none, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we move one from each. Well, this changes a lot now. So, after the last counter is here, discard one card at random from your hand. So we'll do the top card and the bottom card. All right, top card, bottom card. That stinks. Iron Man and Black Knight. All right, that's fine. We have, we have our double still. We have our gauntlet gun. Basically, gonna be the setup of our of our character. So, with that being said, what it might be worth doing too is going over to our other side, right? Because I assume with shoulder cannon, I have a very vague recollection with shoulder cannon that you just kind of keep attacking him. I think with uh, as long as you have ammo counters, so it might be worth it to attack, get rid of our stun, flip over, get rid of all of our counters, and I think we can remove one of the cards and put it back in. I think that's what we're gonna do. And I mean, he's already gonna go to the second stage. I mean, he's not, not automatically, but he's practically there. And then we can start winding up for big hits. Maybe not a terrible idea, especially since this turn's basically gonna be a waste anyway. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to throw away Genius to get my other Gauntlet Gun in there. I'm going to attack, which just gets rid of my stunned. And I'm going to flip over. So I'm going to clear all my counters. Hold on to this card. So, choose a War Machine card in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's no limit on that. So, I can just keep doing it. Hey, hey, Jonesy, how you doing, man? Good to see you. So what do we got? We got... I mean, technically, we just put Iron Man back in, right? We could put Iron Man back in. We could put Full Auto back in. Put a Repulsor Beams back in. I mean, is there supposed to be a limit on that? I feel like there is. But I feel like that's a mistake they shouldn't be making at this stage in the game. So, uh, let me know, chat, what you, what you think about that. What your thoughts are. I am going to say for right now that I'm just doing one of them. So I'm just going to put full auto in. But let me know. Because I can just do it to start of next round too. Just right now. Alright. So. Shuffle that up. Let's refresh. And draw back up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, cool. Full auto, there it is, a double. Missile launcher. Exhaust missile launcher, remove one ammo counter. That's an upgrade. For more machine, deal two damage to an enemy. This is ranged. And John said there was a clarification for that, but I feel like the same. Right? Like, I mean, I'm sorry. If you have to make a clarification on that, the spirit of play, it would probably be eroded. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right, Mark. They will fix that, hopefully. You know, and Hulk. But um, yeah, Jonesy, I I I just, I don't see how you miss that. I really don't, but whatever. All right, so actually we have two full autos. Oh my God, this game's over. No, it's not, because it's, it's close to over. 
Okay, that's fine. So this goes up to four. Um, he is going to uh, activate against us. There's nothing here to clear out. So he's going to scheme for two plus three, four, five. He only needed two. Alrighty, so the Power Stone. When revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Each player discards cards on top of this spell environment is discarded, or until this spell environment is discarded, and puts it into play in their play area. Again, we're not shuffling them back in, which is nice. So we're going to have like what, two or three turns? Right, so it starts at one and we can go up to nine. Jeez. All right, we have to decide. Or you you guys have to decide because I'm probably going to win this. Um, I'll play this again. Should I play with standard two or should I play with expert? There it is, spell. All right, we put that into play, right? It's not revealed. I hope not. Puts it into play. Okay. Uh, enters with three counters. Two. After the last counter is removed from here, deal two damage to each character you control. That's fine. Okay. Alrighty, so my turn again. We were put uh repulsor beam back in here. Shuffle that back up. And I guess we're just gonna punch him in the face really hard, man. War machine's strong. Like really strong. Because the fact is like you could do stupid amounts of damage with a two cost card. Like, that's insane. All right. Before I get too ahead of myself, I'm making an embarrassing move that loses this. Four, five. Perfect. Alrighty. So, I. I guess we full auto, right? Oh my god. We go down swinging. So, we won um so yes decided if i should do encounter or standard two or expert against ebony mall we'll pay for actually we don't even use strength we'll use full auto because we're going to exhaust both these gauntlet guns which is fun so we get the sixth one the seventh one we remove four ammo counters one two three four Deal eight damage. So uh fifteen minus eight is seven. Two, four, six, seven. Hey Jamie. You don't even have his damage upgrades on him. No, I don't. I feel like I haven't even touched him yet. I'm I'm getting stupidly strong. Alright, so We are one short of full auto, which stinks. That's okay. Doesn't even matter. Um, so we will throw away endurance to get missile launcher, exhaust missile launcher, and remove one ammo. Deal two damage to an enemy. One, two. Actually, so we won't lose this round. I thought I I got ahead of myself. And I can't count. Oh wait, three, four, five. Oh no, he will. Okay, I can count. Who knew? So I will do a go down swinging. Discard an ally you control. Deal damage to the enemy equal to the ally's printed cost. So U.S. agents going away. Printed cost of three. Three damage. War machine. Two damage. Taken out. Done. Um, War Machine's pretty good. War Machine's pretty good. Uh, that that's gross. That's gross. Um, huh. I am very shocked by use gauntlets for full auto. Yeah, yeah. Now I I am I am shocked how well that worked. I'll be completely honest. Um. Okay, let's let's set up the next one. Let's shuffle it up. Let's let's talk about this. Um, <laughs> so again, eight damage for a two cost, and yes, you use ammunition. But I mean, once you get those gauntlets out, ammunition's not that hard, right? 
And now maybe maybe that's the one thing though. It's expert cards out. Maybe that's the one thing is is maybe you normally don't get gauntlets right off the bat. Even though I got both of them pretty early on. Uh, but like I didn't I I didn't even build out my ally. I didn't even do it. I didn't even attempt it. Oh, it stays with two. That that's. So I didn't build out an ally. I literally put out one ally. Wanted to put out a second. Didn't do it. And it was just War Machine. I mean, he basically did. The at 18 plus 14 is 32. So I had that 32 damage. He, he did like 26 of it by himself in four rounds. That's hilarious. I love it. I love it already. I mean, it's a cool design. I, I like the idea of the five ammo counters. Um, so that's that part of it's cool. All right. So we put our expert cards in. He's starting on second stage. Let's give him his health. Give him his 18. But yes, chat, how are you all doing today? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're all getting excited for the new Sinister Motives box. Uh, I just recorded a video talking about my initial thoughts and whatnot. And that will hopefully, if I edit it tomorrow during the day when I should be working. Um, but hopefully if I do that, then it will come out either tomorrow or Saturday. So I'm very excited for that. Um, but I got some thoughts about that box already just by how little we know, but I, I've got some serious thought. All right. Let's shuffle this back up. And let's try this again. Let's see what happens on expert. So when revealed, each player discards cards. All right, so we don't have to discard. All right. I don't know which one you're supposed to do first. Which one are you supposed to do first? Is it supposed to be his one revealed? I assume so. We're gonna do his, because that just it makes it harder. Um, so discard cards until a spell card is put into the play area. The reason it makes it harder is because all the stuff is gonna get shuffled back in. There's our spell. We'll deal with that in a second. Then each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck. The spell is put into play. Shuffle the encounter discard pile back in. So. All right, so two spells, pacification and fireball. All right. Yeah, sinister six motives, I guess. Um, comes out, I think this springtime. I think, uh, I think it comes out in the springtime. Um, from what I remember, but yeah, they did their. You can pre-order it now. I tried. It didn't let me. It never lets me in the beginning. But you can pre-order it now. Um, Gwen Stacy and miles morales are the heroes they have a sinister six villain level it appears and from a cursory glance at it it's everything i've ever wanted in a fight against the sinister six because it's not just like i thought the box was originally going to be one of the villains each all together all together as it should be um and yes jonesy this is solid this is um from a guy named Harris Heller who runs Stream Beats. Um, it's all free. It's all, well, it, it costs money, I guess, to buy, but if you have Apple Music, it's free. Um, but it's free to use in your background because usually I would get sued into oblivion for this stuff, but not with him. And he just buys the rights to music and collects royalties in the background from Apple Music. It's great. It's a great system, really. All right. Well, but he has a ton of music. If you ever need, like, just chill music in the background, Look up Stream Beats by Harris Heller. All right, so I think I shuffled my deck, pretty sure. We get six, two, four, six. All right, so we have a double Avengers Assemble, which we probably don't need. Repulsor Beam, our Gauntlets, which I've learned we want. And Go Down Swinging, we probably don't need yet. I want Black Panther. I just don't know if that's the smartest move right off the bat. Now I'm going to keep it. Eh, I mean, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Alright. That goes there. I get two. Uh, am I going to keep him? Because this is all going to pay for itself. So I'm going to get two cards. What are the odds I get two cards that I can pay for Black Panther? I mean, probably zero, right? Um, 
which means I have to hold on to him for another round. Plus probably the two guards. Nah, we'll get rid of him. Ugh, I hate getting rid of him. I really like that card. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what is this? Uh, War Machine gains the aerial trait. After you change the hero form, exhaust upgraded chassis, give War Machine a tough status card. And Munitions Bunker. Exhaust Munitions Bunker, place two ammo counters here for Alter Ego. And then a hero, Exhaust Munitions Bunker, move each ammo counter here. Okay, that's going to take a little bit to build out, though. We'll see. So. Um, let's flip over. Get our five counters. Two, three, three, four, five. I want this gun. Now that I've learned the amazingness of that gun. I want it right away. Paying for it with a genius. And um, right away, we're going to use it to gain a resource thing and or i'm sorry game resource play uh one ammo counter use that ammo counter and that resource to pay for a repulsor beam uh deal four damage to an enemy take him out all right so i like the idea of munitions bunker i like the idea of upgraded chassis i really do three is just a lot right now three is a lot and i kind of want to get ant-man out there to really just defend for a round so I think we're going to do that. We're going to throw away Munitions Bunker and upgrade chassis. Get two PIM counters on Ant-Man. And uh, we're going to use him to do two damage. On Ebony Maw. So he's down to 12 already. Which is nuts. Oh, and I, I, have, to, I have to go. I, with all that damage, I thought I went already. Um, so let's, let's just do two more damage. Get him down to 10. All right. Refresh. Get back up to five. Two, four, five. All right. So Giant Man, Avengers Assemble, the other Gauntlet Gun, Team Training, and Make the Call. Which is interesting. So we might be able to make the call Black Panther back in. Because I don't know if I need this other gun yet. Okay. Get it ourselves. Threat goes up by one. It's on two. We remove a counter. Each each of those things. Three and two it's down to. He's going to attack for two plus a boost card. Uh, we're going to block it with Ant-Man. So three damage total. Ant-Man did not make it. Get her back card. Side scheme. Black order. Alright, two on it. When, while a Black Order minion is in play, threat cannot be removed from this side scheme. So we don't have to worry about that yet, but we are getting extra bad cards now. Which that does, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. So we got Giant Man, which we can't afford. So can't play that. Avengers Assemble. The other Gauntlet Gun. Team Training would have been nice, but let's do, let's do Make the Call. The problem is... Wait, we can put the event under him. What event card would we want? I'll probably go down swinging. Yeah, we're going to do that. So we're going to put Black Panther into play. And we're going to put go down swinging underneath him. Using, uh, make the call. We'll pay the princely cost of an ally in any player's discard pile. Put that ally into play under your control. All right, so you play, you may play the event attached to Black Panther as if it were in your hand. Uh, response after black panther enters play choose a leadership blue event in your discard pile and attach it to him face down oh, should be face down but that's weird um okay so we can't block with black panther we're gonna just take a hit in the face which is okay but at least black panther can i'm gonna i'm just gonna you know i'm gonna go with aggression i'm just gonna be aggressive he gets two um two damage on Bringing this down to eight. I feel like aggression is the way to go. We're going to let this go back up until about four. And then I think we're going to flip back over and do it again. Six. I think that's, I, I don't really think that's the way to play this right now. All right. That's all that. Oh, I can still do stuff. We're going to attack for two. Two damage. 
Perfect. Let's refresh. Draw back up to five. Two. Five. So we have our double missile launcher. Exhaust one. Exhaust. Mi exhaust missile launcher. Remove one ammo counter from war machine. Deal one damage um, to an enemy. Fantastic. I wish we could pay for it with gauntlet gun, but that's okay. Mighty Avengers. Uh, if each of your Avenger characters has one. I'm sorry. If each of your characters has the Avenger trait, which they do, then we get one thwart, one attack. That's right. Squirrel girl. Love her. She's boss. Interesting. Huh. All right. We're getting ahead of ourselves already. Sorry. I'm like planning out six rounds in advance. This gets one. He's going to attack. Oh, I'm sorry. We got to take off one on one counter. He's going to attack. I'm just going to, I'm going to take it to the face. No. So two plus no two is four. And that gets one of one of our expert cards too there. Uh, master plan got taken out. That's good. Um, all right. We're going to get two bad cards. First one. Gains a surge. We get two more. Comes in with two counters. So, first one of our two, Crisis Icon. When revealed, each player must choose. Oh, we're just we're gonna put this up the top. That's all we're doing there. That was one of our two. Then our next one. When revealed, remove one invocation counter from each spell environment you play. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. So. After the last invocation counter is removed from here, discard it, exhaust each upgrade you control, which is our gauntlet gun, which stinks, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Next though, we're gonna have to discard one card from random and deal four damage to our identity. That one stinks. Cause we're gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight. We're, yeah, we're already at two. So we're gonna, we're gonna get hit hard. So we're gonna flip after this. Cause we're gonna get punched in the face. Good. Um, all right, that's all right. So he's at six. What is what is the third stage of him do? Each player discards cards, whatever. That's fine. It's the, it's the usual. Okay. So what we have going on is kind of interesting. Because here's what I mean. Let's, we're going to throw away Mighty Avengers because I don't think we need that right now. It's just too expensive. We're going to put in Missile Launcher. What my, what my general play is here, I think, is to use Power of Leadership to pay for Squirrel Girl. She comes in, does one damage. She's down to five. I can then use Go Down Swinging to do four damage. I can also do last stand to do four damage. So what we want to do is do this. She comes in, deals one damage to everyone. He's down to five. We're going to do this upgrade thing. Takes away one ammo counter. Does two damage. He's down to three. We will. Do we want to do last stand? Yeah, we, yeah, we might as well. So we're going to attack for one plus last stand gives him three. So it's up to four damage. Takes out Ebony Maw. Next one comes in. He has tw 23. Jeez, 23 lights. Two. 23. Um, when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until the spell encounter puts that card into play in the player. Okay. Oh, go figure. What does this one do? Uh, exhaust each upgrade. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So Squirrel Girl gets, because that attack resolves, so we discard that. Now we're going to discard 
an ally you control to deal damage to an enemy equal to the ally's printed cost. So we're going to discard Black Panther, who does four damage. Brings us up to 19. Nineteen. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do, instead of attacking, is I'm going to flip and heal. Yeah, I'm going to flip and heal. Because I'm about to get hit in the face for four anyway. Um, so it'd be nice to actually heal again after that, and then just, like, kind of roll with it, right? The encounter scheme? Yeah. That actually that wasn't a bad idea. I probably should have. Um, we'll, we'll do that in the next round, possibly. All right, so we'll refresh. The, you're right. The Black Order one is that one's that one is throwing me off. Two, four, six. Oh, the hazard. I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna leave, and I'm just gonna hope for the best. And hope I win before that goes anywhere. <laughs> All right, Scorched Earth, U.S. Agent, Iron Man, full auto. Make the call and make the call. Interesting. I think uh, too, Mark. We're gonna we're gonna do your strategy. We get Iron Man in there and look for whatever that gut, that whatever that uh, thing you told me to get was, and just start being aggressive with that. All right. So this goes up to four. He's going to scheme for three plus uh, three is six, which goes up. So excited! There's gonna be so many spell cards out there. Gets rid of assault. Gets rid of a treachery. Three counters. I'm sorry, I have to remove counters from everything else but this one. Oops, using the wrong things. I didn't forget. Oh, I did forget. Two. Okay, so technically we remove here, here, and here. Then this came into play. So four damage to your identity. One, two, three, four. And one card from random at your hand. We'll see what the one card is. Oh, you're right. This is this is um crisis crisis icon. You're right. You're right. That is hazard. You're right. Uh, we'll do third one down. So one, two, make the call. Perfect one to lose. Okay. So we schemed. He got a new thing. All that fun stuff. This is in play. This is at one. We get our two bad cards. First one. All right. Uh -huh. It's going to soups. Oops. That should be that one. Um. Okay. That gets a surge. Let me just put this out so I don't forget. We're gonna reveal. Discard one card at random from your hand. All right. What are the odds? It's the other. Make the call card. Third one down again. Ah! That's awesome. <laughs> That's stupid lucky. And all right, one reveal. Remove one invocation counter from each spell. Okay. Okay. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So let's get a, a card. Um, let's get Repulsor Beam. Shuffle it back in. Where are the odds I could do 19 damage in one turn? Probably pretty low, right? <laughs> That's alright. Okay. We're going to change this form. We get 5 of our ammo counters. So, um, so I can't put in Iron Man. It, I mean, it just won't work this turn. So what we can do is do the gun gauntlet thing. And we'll get rid of Scorched Earth. Um, and we'll full we'll we'll get rid of four of these. 
And here's the thing. Do I want to take out the Outrider? I mean, I guess, right? Because it's going to be essentially two damage I got to block and deal with. Might as well take him out. We'll take him out. And then uh, it's overkill, so six more damage. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We'll hold on to them. So we can exhaust this thing, remove one ammo counter, and do two damage. One, two, stand to 11. I guess I thwart for one and work on the black order thing, or I get this down to nine. Um, let's work on the black order thing, right? That seems like the smart thing to do. But I swear, if I if I lose by two, all right. So I have U.S. Agent Iron Man left. I think I'm gonna get rid of U.S. Agent because basically I don't. I can't play him till the next round, and he's not going to last that much longer. And I'd rather get Iron Man in, I, th I think. I think it's going to be the right play. So, right? Let's do that. We're going to keep him, refresh everything. Draw back up to five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Man. Oh, I can remove threat. That's nice. That's something. Interesting. Okay. This goes up. Always fun. Um, he's going to activate. So remove one from each of them. Exhaust each upgrade you control. No point. I don't love that. Now, I have five life left. He's going to hit me for two. What are the odds that he draws a three? Probably not good, right? Am I willing to lose on that? Am I willing to lose on probably not good? Okay, so let's... Just, I don't have great cards. I don't love what I have, I'll be honest. Iron Man, Queen Carrier, Strength, Last Stand, and Targeted Strike. Stuff is exhausted. Which stinks, because I can't use it next round. Let's block. That's probably the safe bet. We'll block. Attacks for two. Plus only a one. So one damage. I guess it was the safe thing to do. Whatever. Alright, we're going to get two bad cards. Put them out. First one. Oh, good. Equipment malfunction. You may flip to Alter Ego. Choose. Exhaust uh, roads. Remove equipment manufactured from the game. Remove all encounters from your identity. If two or fewer encounters were removed, this card gains Surge. Hmm. Um... I can't exhaust him, right? Because I defended. So I have to remove all my ammo counters. This card gains Surge. That's nice. All right. Surge. Warren revealed. Exhaust your identity card. Joke's on you. You're lethal. Yeah. All right. So reactor overload again. We'll put five on that. Why not? Three, four, five. And yeah, these these are gonna kill me next round. And landing craft. Two. And one. Okay. Holy cow, that did not go well. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is a good chance that he wins this. Well, well, we'll figure this out. So, let us throw away Strength and Queen Carrier to pay for Iron Man. So now, after Iron Man enters play, search your deck and discard pile for a tech upgrade and add to your hand. Shuffle your deck. What were you saying that I wanted? Shoulder Cannon? No. Shoulder, exhaust Shoulder Cannon. Deal 1 damage to 
an enemy, you may remove one ammo counter from War Machine. Oh, okay, so you can basically use it over and over. Repulsor Beam is probably pretty good. Full Auto is probably what we want. Because we're going to flip and then flip back over. All right. So, Iron Man's in. We have to... Oh, no, I lose. I can't win. I know I'm trying. Yeah, I lost. Um... Because I can't heal. Because I defended. And I can't refresh my character. So yeah, I lost this round. I'll have to play again really fast. Because what I was going to do is I was going to remove the two from here, from Iron Man. Flip over. But that's going to do two damage to each character you control. Which would be... Rhodes. Do 10 damage. Or do 4 damage, which would kill me. Oh yeah. Rubble Storm, Rubble Storm messed me up pretty good. So, okay. That was rough. I really needed to take care of this first. So that I think that was my big my big fault right there was Black Order. Um Yeah, I just I thought I could handle one more bad card, but honestly, I was dealing myself what three bad cards essentially every single round because everything has surge on it. So okay. That wasn't awful. I think we can get around that. Let's let's refresh this. Realize where we messed up. Fix our mistakes. <sighs> but yes, you're right. I did need to flip and heal. I needed to be done a long time ago. And it just wasn't. That's all right. That's it. We got a new plan. It would be, it would be, let's be honest. If I beat Expert the first time trying on my second game of playing War Machine, he's broken. Because I'm not that good of a player. <laughs> so... Oops, put those ones upside down. Alrighty, let's move the acceleration token, put that back down, put that back up. Get Ebony Maw 2 out. Uh, so he's got 18 life. Alright. What are we doing, man? An hour in and we're on our third game. I love it. Love seeing it. Alright, so this is going to be back up to a 1. Ebony Maw is back up to 18. Four, six, eight, and yeah, having uh, him having two spells in the beginning is is pretty rough, depending on what the spells are, of course. But uh, that is a rough setup. Give it credit. Okay. So, shuffle our deck up, then we will be back to normal, hopefully. Also, I appreciate all the likes that you guys are dropping. Um, thank you for that. And for everyone hanging out in the chat. All right. Jeez Louise. Every time I try to chill. Like, I love these sleeves, but they're just like a bit too thick. I mean, I guess it's good that they're thick. If they weren't, they'd be cheap. But, um... This happens to me with Lord of the Rings all the time, too. So I drop all my cards everywhere. Alrighty. Deal your hand. Two, four, six. Um, so nice we could throw all these out. There's so many good cards to throw out. Oh my gosh. Two, what is that? Is that the random one? It is the random one. And the four damage one. Fireball. It's two bad ones. Oops, what are we doing? Two invocation counters. Four. Alright, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright. Two uh, counters. One. I can't wait to get actual invocation counters. They're gonna be so nice. I'm such a sucker for those stupid upgrades. I love them, even though they're expensive. 
All right, 18 health. One on that. We already did the spell set. That's a two and that's a four. Rhodey is good to go. Let's get her a drink. Let's see what we got. So, Scorched Earth. Going down swinging. Double. Make the call. Upgrade chassis and a double. Okay. I like the idea of upgrade chassis. Um, after you change the hero form, exhaust that to give War Machine a tough stance. I, I like that idea, right? Coming back out and just being able to get hit in the face really hard, especially when he's really going nuts. So, Scorch Earth, I just don't think it's worth it yet. We can shuffle that back in though. Going down swing, useless. Or double might be good. Make the call useless right now. Yeah, we're going to do that. Draw the other three. We got last stand, full auto, and shoulder cannon, which I kind of want to get out pretty fast, I think. I might be a little inefficient with my hand, but that's all right. So let's shuffle back in uh, Scorch Earth. Yeah, Scorch Earth. We're going to shuffle that one back in. Um, just because we need it later on, right? Never know. I guess Ebony Maw is really not a uh, minion heavy. So that, that'll be interesting to try a deck where it is. See how that works out. Alrighty. Let's go. So, the question is Do I want to get rid of Shoulder Cannon, Last Stand, and Power of Leadership to get in upgraded chassis? So, when I flip them over now, I get a tough status. I don't hate it. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't hate it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. We're going to see how that plays out. Uh, Yeah, we're going to see how that plays out. Hopefully, shoulder cannon's not a thing I really need. Probably. That's right. So let's flip. I get tough. It's fantastic. I get also a lot of ammo. I get one. I get two. Three, four. Five. Alrighty. So we will do our full auto paying for it with um, energy. And we got to remove four of our counters. Two, three, four. Plus it's going to be great because we're going to flip back over probably right away. Oh, maybe we will. Right? That's his eight damage. So he's down to ten life already. Maybe we thwart. Right? Right off the bat. Keep it at Keep it down at five. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to throw it right off the bat. We're going to try something a little different. Oh, I was supposed to exhaust this technically. All right, cool. We got that. Go up to five, two, four. Let's see what we got. Uh, endurance, team training, Iron Man, a double, and Ant Man. Mark, what was the card that you were saying that I should get? What was it? Shoulder cannon? Oh yeah, shoulder cannon. Yeah. Is there two shoulder cannons in there? Or is there only one? Let me know. I'm gonna guess only one. And I don't have my deck list up. Um, because that's the one I threw out, right? Yeah. Yeah, let me know if there's another one in there. Alright. We will mess with that in a second. So this goes up by one. This activates. So counters are off of this. Um, he is going to attack. I'm just going to get hit, right? And, and hit it with tough. So two, three, four. And gets rid of a minion, which is fantastic. Gets rid of our tough. Bad card time. Attach. Attach the to the friendly character with the highest attack and exhaust it. Oh. Okay. Attach cannot ready. Spend lightning and fist resources to discard this card. Ooh. Ugh. Yep, just one. Okay. I don't like that card, that's for sure. So, Lightning and Fist. This... I don't know his deck. Is there another good tech upgrade that's worth it? Oh, let me pull up. Let me pull up my deck list. Um... What do we have? Full auto is what? It's just an attack. Oh, I guess we can go for the gauntlet gun. Maybe that's what's worth it. 
shoulder can upgrade chassis missile launcher a oh, missile launcher is not bad either right all right so let's i feel like we have to be able to exhaust our, our character so we'll get rid of these two cards we'll get rid of that attachment so do we want ant-man or do we want iron man i guess iron man right so that we can get this tech upgrade so we'll get rid of um strength and ant-man so we'll go tech upgrade oh i could do it from the discard pile too then i guess let's let's missile launcher no i, I guess let's let's get this this shoulder cannon thing see how that goes right we'll try it see what happens we'll shuffle this up because i looked at it obviously Of course, with my luck, manipulation will remove it from my hand for me, so that'd be fun. Alrighty. So. Do I flip? Probably not, right? Probably not. Yeah, I'm not going to flip yet. All right, because we are going to attack with Iron Man, do one damage, he drops him down to eight. My thought is that we are going to get hit with this next attack um, to get rid of attachment. Why would it get rid of it? Attach to a friendly character with the highest attack and exhaust it. Attach character cannot ready. The hero action spend uh whatever those resources are discard that card is there something i'm missing yeah no I, I don't think you would get rid of it i think it just it sticks there because it doesn't say on your hero right it says on your character so i think that would stick on you um so that was two. Okay, that's down to eight. So my, my rough, I guess, plan, thought, is get hit in the face by Ebony Maul this time. Hopefully it doesn't do much. We can attack again. No, we can thwart it with Iron Man, attack or heal, and flip over. So this way when we flip back, we basically get a free block round. Uh, maybe two if we block with Iron Man instead. So that's my, that's my rough thought. We're going to keep it here, get hit in the face, see, see how that works out. So, draw back up. Two, three, four. Terrible cards. Five. Really terrible cards. That's exciting. This goes up. That loses one counter each because he's activating, which means I get rid of a card. Uh, I'm going to do second one down. One, two. Squirrel girl. The one card that was worth anything. Well, I, I guess I can get shoulder cam. All right. So, oh, we discard this. Oh, I'm confused as well. Confused. He's going to attack. I'm just going to take. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Now, that would be awful. <laughs> that would be awful, dude. <laughs> Thank goodness it's not. It's not that mean yet. I'm going to take the hit to the face, so that is two. Plus another two is four damage. Jeez, jeez. He's swinging hard. That card. Uh, his attacks gain overkill. Holy cow. Three health. Or, I'm sorry, six health, three damage. We will have to deal with that later. So. My turn. Let us. Oh, okay. So, my initial thought was to thwart this for two. This would go up to one, two, three, four. He's probably going to roll a double, right? I mean, just realistically going to roll a double. Or not roll. He's going to draw a double. Um means it goes to the next stage which i really don't want i'm probably gonna need more ammo 
Yeah, we're gonna have to do it. So I'm gonna get rid of Mighty Avengers and Avengers Assemble. Take out Shoulder Cannon. So I'm gonna exhaust Shoulder Cannon. Deal one damage to enemy. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can take this guy out though. But then I can't reduce that. And that's gonna go up to three, four, five. Now I only need one. Um, no, but I feel like we should still work on him, right? Because, I mean, three damage is just a lot to deal with. So we're going to do shoulder, shoulder cannon, do one damage on him. We're going to uh, remove one ammo counter to ready this. Do it again. Do a second damage on him. I think we're going to exhaust Iron Man. He's going to thwart for two off of that one. I'm going to attack for two. Now he's up to four damage. So at least we can probably get him out, you know, or get rid of him next turn. We are going to flip over. And choose a War Machine card um, to shuffle back in. So full auto is what we're going to go for. Shuffle that bad boy back in, hopefully. Did we get that again? All right, this is a little tougher. I'll, I'll give the game credit. This got a little tougher. Yeah, I'm not crushing it right now. Yes. Alrighty, so that is that. Let us. We're gonna have to heal though, because I have to deal with this in two rounds, which will happen. Let us refresh, but I'm gonna get tough. So that's something. Drop to six. So, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of interesting cards here. So, we have two repulsor beams. Are gone or are gauntlet gone full auto or double in munitions bunker now originally i was thinking let's play munitions bunker but now i'm kind of not kind of thinking playing them so all right we'll, we'll deal with that okay and then if we discard one of these we can shuffle them back in right we can discard them I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself um okay so this gets one we're going to hope that this does not advance. That is my goal. He's going to scheme for two. Plus zero. That's huge. That's really what we needed. So one, two. He schemes for one. Does up to four. Perfect. Um, I take one counter off of that. I forgot. Um, that's huge. Get our bad card. We have a guard out there now. When defeated, give the villain a tough status card. Okay. Okay, that's that's manageable. That's manageable. So let us Huh. Um well, that's not really an efficient way of doing it though. But is there another There's no more of his cards to the shuffle right now. That's alright. Let us Gosh, I really want to do Munitions Bunker, too. But I feel like that just doesn't make sense right now. Because the, the the play is probably to get the Gauntlet in there. Do full auto with Munitions Bunker and one of the Repulsor Beams. And then use the other Gauntlet to pay for this. We do a lot of damage. Everyone's kind of happy. Right? It's kind of the rough idea. We have to do repulsor beam first. Take this out. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's think about this. So, bunker now that you got shoulder cannon. Oh, you are right. You are right. Because you know what? We're going to have to start doing chip damage too and stuff like that. Yeah. Mark, I, I like where your head's at. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you're right. Let's get rid of Genius to play Munitions Bunker. I like this. So Exhaust Munitions, place two ammo counters on him. One, two. Okay. Uh, we need to heal, for sure, because we're going to get hit by the four soon. So we're down to one. Let us flip. We now get... 
two, three, four, five ammo. And we get uh, exhaust this, get top stuff. Alright. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff in this car. So, what we need... Gosh, I know this sounds silly, but I still feel like getting a gauntlet gun right now is, is good, right? It's inherent good to slowly um, get this going. Because my thought is... Alright, so Iron Man can take out this guy, which is nice. He knocks himself out, but that's fine. I have tough. I don't have to worry about something for a round at least. Um, hmm. So he would knock him out. I have to do four damage. Repulsor beam is a nice, easy way to do that, right? It doesn't make it doesn't make sense. smarter way to probably do this well no because i can't do full auto because that's going to use four things which doesn't really help me out right now so let's use full auto and repulsor beam to get our gun out there i i, I think that's the right play all right let's use iron man he's gonna get knocked out to take out this guy so we just don't have to worry about this freaking black dude iron man's ticket Now, let us use this, place one ammo counter on here, so that's up to six. Remove one ammo counter, deal four damage to an enemy. We will do it to this enemy. So the villain gains a tough status card. Now this is, you're right, I love this gun in this sense, because now we could do this, deal one damage, which knocks off the top. Um, so the question becomes, how, how much do you use this gun, right? Do you, do you save it in hopes that you get the other full auto so that I have all the, eight? cause I, I can't doing five right now. Won't really do anything, right? Cause he's at eight. So I would leave him with three. That's not going to, it's not going to do anything per se yet. Um, and again, if I get full auto, I can knock out the eight right off the bat. So I feel like I'm not going to use it yet because again, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything yet. I'm, I'm, I kind of want to save it. Um, yeah, because I'd just be doing five damage. So hopefully that's the right call. If not, yell at me. Um, so let's refresh. Let's refresh and draw. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the right way to do it. All right, two. Four, five. Let's see what we got. Uh, power leadership. Make the call. Scorched Earth. U.S. agent and her other gun. I like that we got U.S. agent. I like that a lot. I wish we could use Scorched Earth, but that's okay. No, this remove three ammo counts. That's not great. Okay. This goes up to five. We're gonna have to kind of focus on that too in a second. Actually, we won't be able to. Well, US agent can. Okay. Remove a counter. Uh, deal four damage to your identity, which is terrible. One, two, three, four, which means I'm up to five. Well, no, you're dealing damage, but I'm not being attacked. Tough only works on attack, I think. Um, I think that's the way that works. Dealing damage does stop stuff. It will stop this, so hopefully if this is two, it's not. It's only two, which stinks. Let me know if it's the other way, and I have to remove two. I don't think it is, though. I think dealing damage won't be stopped by tough. I don't think tough stops any damage. I think it just stops an attack damage. But let me know. If it does, then it stopped the four. He attacked me with two. And I just removed two damage, so... Surge. When revealed, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. So two cards, basically. Treachery. Uh, heal side. Deal one damage to your hero for each spell environment in this play. If you take no damage this way, this can't card gains surge. This is fun. Master plan. Place four threat on each side scheme. If there are no side schemes, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side scheme is discarded. 
Holy cow. Yes, it does in the sense that, yes, tough stops the four damage. So this gains three, four, five. We're going to put nine on there. We're just going to go all out on this. Three, four, six, seven, eight. Hey, Lord, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so that's that. This is a surge. We get four counters. One, two, three, four. All right. Oh my god, and a guard too. Jeez Louise. Okay. It does stop fireball. Okay, so I would only get two damage. Good to know. Thank you, Mark. I don't have the rule book down here. I should have brought it. Lord, how you doing? How's everything going? Good to see you here, man. Hopefully you're doing well. All right. That was a lot of bad cards. That was a lot of terrible cards. Um, but we're okay. We're okay. So, let's think. Let's think. So we're 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 not removing this ever again. Ever 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 again. Um. Oh wait, we could pay the princely cost of an of an ally out here where squirrel girl i'm talking about right so what we can do that could be squirrel girl but we can't pay for us agent then that's the only bad thing and i really would like us agent is us agent necessary probably not because squirrel girl will be our block for the one round if that's what we choose to do probably probably what we choose to do because squirrel girl can block here for one round and then two on us well, i guess i could do scorch earth well now because it's going to give the tough status here which is silly um and we put, yeah so i'm playing it so lord i'm i i am playing this on expert this is the second time an expert the very first thing i did was normal and i crushed it i mean absolutely de de destroyed ebony maw it wasn't even close um so i crushed that the first round expert i played really poorly the first expert game this one i was doing better until literally like the last round this one's getting a little tough uh, but I think we can get there. I think we can get there still. So now the question is, do I want to make the call with somebody better? Maybe, maybe Squirrel Girl is not the right answer. Well, there's no one else better. So I could get Ant-Man in there. I'm, I'm kind of running into the same exact problem. If I did Ant-Man, I could put two, three, four counters on him. Attack once. And then I guess block, no, well, no, because I'm going to want to take that out. Block that. He's going to draw a one, so it's not going to make a difference. All right, let's, let's go back to Squirrel Girl. Also, I guess the question is, that's only three damage. Never mind, that's not worth it. I'm not doing it. So let's, let's make the call. Let's get Squirrel Girl paying for her with power of leadership. She enters play one damage to each enemy. So one, I'm not attacking him. It's just doing damage. So that works. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess let's exhaust munitions, right? For whatever reason and move all these counters over here for fun. So I got US agent and I have scorched earth and I have gauntlet gun. I think what I'm going to be doing is actually getting rid of these two because I want US Agent just to block for like a round or two um, and hopefully hang on because I got I got to start getting aggressive. So let us Squirrel Girl Black Order in Infantry for one. This will go up to three. We will use an ammo counter to refresh this, bring it back down. Does the fourth one. 
which puts a tough status. Yeah, tough status on him. We will use an ammo counter again. Crush this, put this down, knock off the top. Again, it kind of becomes what I want to do at this point, but, um, oh, well, I want to straight up attack, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so he is down to five. I could get him to flip to the next scenario, but probably not worth it at this point. Uh, cause he's just going to flip and basically get a spell card out there. And I'd rather not get another one quite this sec. Well, he's going to get another one anyway. So that would be three spell cards having to deal with. We're not doing that. So we will wait. Um, like I said, I, I really want to play us agent. I think that's the right move. So scorch earth, I don't think is the right play gauntlet gun. I don't think we're going to get enough uses out of, so I'm getting rid of gauntlet gun and scorched earth, just throwing them away. Let's refresh everything. Drop back up to five, two, there's our full auto, three, four, five. Interesting. Huh. That is not all what I thought I would get. Oh, okay. I'll deal with that. So this goes up to six, which means we advance. Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck each player which is nice because we're not getting acceleration tokens and then each player discard discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell environment is played put it in the play all right cool you can do that that's for sure all right and then this starts with one right cool 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 So, spell. Nope. 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 Oh, this is fantastic. Keep it going. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll be happy with that. Except for four damage to your identity. Oh my god, two fireballs. We have to think about that now. Well, we have three turns, three rounds, which basically means we need to win in three rounds. That's what that's. Doing. All right, so he's going to activate, removes one of each of these. He's going to attack. I'm going to block it with Squirrel Girl. So that's basically what she's good for right now. So two plus three, four. Squirrel Girl does not make it, unfortunately. Bad card. The villain schemes. That stinks. Two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five. So while that stinks, not the end of the world because I probably wasn't going to be able to flip to my other side anyway. Um, so I'm not, it stinks, but it's not the worst thing. I'll be honest. Alrighty. So what's probably going to happen is I, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to win in basically two rounds. I think is what this is coming down to. Because I'm going to have to play full auto at, at some point. So if I do 5 damage now, get him down to this side, which is 23. Do 8 damage off of full auto. Brings down to 15. It's getting close, my friends. It's getting very close. So what we can do is if we're going to play this with this and like this, let's say. We're going to have these two cards left. There's no one really put in for printed costs. It's not really work. Yeah, the advance, that advance does hurt. That We had a little bit of time where we, I might have thought about flipping over, healing, right? Especially with these fireballs. Kind of, we're kind of stuck there now. Should have played with standard too. That's my fault. <laughs> All right. So we're obviously not going to do the eight yet. We're going to, we're going to attack him first. Do two damage the old fashioned way. Bring him down to three. Um, we're going to exhaust. The old cannon, deal one damage, brings down a two. We'll use an ammo to refresh this, exhaust it, brings down the one. Use an ammo, we're down to three ammo to refresh this, exhaust this. He's down to zero. So, he comes into play. Each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell card is put into play. 
All right, we're getting rid of some some good ones there. There's some good minions that we got rid of, so I'm happy with that. Three counters, so it's all like I said, basically two rounds. What we're looking at, and he starts with 23 life. 22, 23. But the scenarios got more interesting and better. Since yeah, yes, absolutely, hundred percent. Um, honestly, um, the scenarios are fantastic. They, they, they really are. Since the core box, so Red of Rise, Rise of the Red Skull is probably still my 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 go to next pack or next big box. I would say to get because it's not crazy hard, but it's good. Guardians of the Galaxy, I would skip for now, just until you want to collect it, or if you get it on sale. This one is fantastic. I love it. I just, I just got the hood, and the Living Car Gamer and I streamed on his channel last night. You can see it on his YouTube page, um, you know, later. Don't go yet. <laughs> um, but you can see it on his page. Uh, we played through the hood, and it was fantastic. I mean, I, I loved not only his scenario, but the modular decks that come with it. Absolutely fantastic. He's He's probably my number one standalone pack to get. And then like Green Goblin after that, and then the uh, Kang and, and then Wrecking Crew. But yeah, the, the scenarios are, are fantastic. I mean, they're they are, they are really hitting their stride in my opinion. Um, and with Sinister, the, the Sinister one that's coming out next, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really good, so. All right, 23, we are going to full auto this bad boy. Oops, totally did that backwards. Um, so we do this and we place our one ammo counter there, which uses up all four of our ammo counters. Gosh, we really need the flip too. We just can't. So that's eight. Uh, 23 minus eight is a 15. If I can do math correctly. That re that's really tough. It's really tough. We really. Because I, I just I can't do anything with that. I really need the flip because I'm out of ammunition. It's rough. It's rough, my friends. Hey, hey Nolan. Good to see you. Is this scenario from Mad Titan? Yes, this is. This is the first one in Mad Titan. It is... Um, if not the least interesting, the second least interesting. And it's a good scenario. <laughs> Because tower defense, I'm, I'm iffy on. I've, I only did it once. So I don't know which is better. Thanos was fantastic. Hello was fantastic. Loki was fantastic. Well, Loki was pretty good. Hello was fantastic. Saw your hood game. He is rough. Yes, he is insane. Insane. What, what did you play, uh, Nolan, to uh, get past him? What what characters? What um, what aspects? I'm curious because I think we're gonna do it again Sunday, and I think we're looking at. Um, I think he wants to do protection quicksilver and i think i'm doing uh ant-man leadership i think is what we're thinking i think but we're not 100 percent sure yet so let's do make the call last stand okay i'm thinking we're gonna throw away these cards because they're they're kind of useless to us right now and we just need to draw cards we need to do 15 damage and we have no ammunition it's gonna be good. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Let's refresh. See what we get. So one, two, three, four, five. The There's all my allies. Look at that. What is that? At least we could play Black Panther. Huh. What event would you take? Oh no, I have to figure that out. I have to figure that out. All right. Oh boy, we might be playing this again one more time because this this is. I'm I'm really liking War Machine a lot. So all right, that's one. So two, four, six, seven out of nine. We remove one counter from each of these. Two, three. He's attacking for two. We're just gonna hit hit in the face. Um. Dealing with that, so two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, we got three life left. Bad card, surge, exhaust your identity card. It's going well, another expert card for us. All right, reactor overload, doesn't matter. Three, four, five, that's fine. Two, two, 
good for it. We're, we're probably going to be done with that. Um, I tried my BW protection. I won't try that again, which was strong throughout NTS. He used She-Hulk aggression. Interesting. She-Hulk aggression. I like She-Hulk. She-Hulk, man, She-Hulk's good. I do like She-Hulk a lot. All right. So what are our thoughts here? What are we thinking? This is a decent choice. I think T Yes. That was what surprised us was that it was you had to do a ton of thwarting. Right? Like I thought the hook was going to be strong. And he really he he's not hard to deal with. It was thwarting was the d issue and I thought it was going to I thought I would be able to handle it. And I kind of did as Black Widow justice. But then minions was our problem on top of it. The freaking minions that came out. And we were playing medium difficulty, I guess. Um, they were tough. Man, some of those minions were rough. They were really rough. I'm excited to put a bunch of those modulars into different like things like this on standard. See how it plays out. All right. So if we play Black Panther, let's, let's start talking, talking hypotheticals here. Because we do have go down swing. The reason I'm I'm thinking about this right now, essentially we could do well. We can only do six damage. That's really what that comes down to. Plus one is seven. That's all we can do with Black Panther is seven damage. And the problem is, if we do that, we're gonna get hit. And we're gonna die. So we can't do that. We technically have two rounds left. So what's another event card? We could do last stand and hope we survive. It seems like a really poor choice because it's probably not going to play out the way I think it is. Avengers assemble is useless. That's useless. Ah. Uh, I mean. What I, what I could do is defend with Black Panther. Not use him, right? Just defend with him. And discard him for four cost and hopefully survive another round, right? And get the four damage out of him. This is tough. This is tough. Or do you do three? God, I wish I could put Giant Man in. It'd be so nice to have right now. So, if you do Black Panther, all right, so Black Panther, US Agent would be good for blocking. It's not a terrible idea. It might actually be our best idea. One, two, three. You know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're, or what we're gonna do is do US Agent, hold on to Black Panther, hopefully pay it next round, put him in with go down swinging and just, just hope we get lucky. So you US agent's gonna attack for one. Do one damage down to 14. We're gonna use shoulder cannon for one damage down to 13. We can't do anything else. We have no ammo. We got no nothing. Two, three, four. Okay, good. Alright. Let's refresh. Let us let's try, let's try this. Let's try this. So Black Panther, uh, draw back up to five. So two, three, four, five. That's a whole lot of nothing. That's a whole lot of nothing. Okay, we got this team. We got this. Eight. He activates. One, 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 one. It's all ones. He's going to attack. We are going to block it with US Agent and hope he doesn't do four damage. Two, three, four. Well, that was a bad hope. It would have been nice to have that one damage and that retaliate, but that's okay. Bad card. Hopefully, it's not terrible. Discard an upgrade or support you control. That's okay. We can discard munitions. Okay. 13. I don't think the math's there, unfortunately. I wish it was. It's just not going to be there. So my thought, man, if I got a double, we could have maybe pulled it off. I 
Because my thought is, if I, uh, yeah. All right, so the, the play essentially is going to be spend four to get Black Panther in. I'm going to put this aside for a second because I'm going to lose. Um, but I want to show my thought process. And attach, go down swinging. So we could do two damage. Bring him down to 11. I could do two damage. Bring him down to nine. Four. Gonna be right there too. Eight. Nine. Do this. Brings down to eight. Then I would hero action discard an ally you control, deal damage to the enemy de uh based off his printed cost. So that's four. And we have four left. No, it would have been one short. Because my, my play, what I was thinking was, um, War Machine needs to flip a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I would have flipped right before he got that advance card. That was that was kind of the rough plan. But um, but I would have done this for, to let him attack for three more, which actually would have brought him down to one. So I would have, I would have lost by one, which would have been worse. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, War Machine does need to flip a lot. I lost a lot of ammunition there. That was rough. Um, but yeah, that, that advance. Because you take out that advance. And I would have probably flipped over. Because that would have been an 8, essentially. The same, it would have been about the same exact thing, so. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, 142. Uh, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one last time. I feel like I can do this. I feel like he's right there. He's right there. What are these last two cards? Scorch Earth and Missile Launcher. That'd be nice to have. Um, I, I, I just I feel like I'm right there. I feel like I'm just missing it. And it helped not getting the hazard because that's what beat me the first time on Expert was just the hazard. This the advance without the advance, I win. Now of course you know that's that's the game, right? You know. Those things happen, but I feel like I'm right there. I don't know if I should be more aggressive with my flips in the beginning, right? I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, having having that upgrade chassis thing was awesome. I mean, that that saved me a lot, blocking damage. Uh, two on there. I'm actually really impressed uh, with that card. All right, so. Uh, he goes back up to 18. 12. 14. 16. 18. Alright. That gets awesome. So, let us do our two, right? Each player reveals a counter. Or a spell card. All right, spell, spell, spell. There it is. And then we put another spell in. The other one, we shuffle a discard pile. Back up. Two and a three. So random card and exhaust and upgrade and you're stunned. And you're confused. Okay. I use his allies to thwart. I think that's smart. I think you're right. All right. Yeah, because we have really no problem doing damage like the Ebony Maw. We really don't. It's not that big of an issue. It, it's it's getting that build out. You're right. Alrighty, so. 1-1. One, 1-2. One. One, Alrighty, let's shuffle for a deck. Alright, we will thwart him with his allies. We will win. We will succeed. This will hopefully be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All right, I like where all your heads are at. Let's do this. One last time. Here we go. Go over the, the roads. Everything's set up. We're all shuffle. Let's have a drink. All right. Two, four, six. 
here we go mighty avengers power of leadership shoulder cannon power of leadership repulsor beam and avengers assemble i like the idea of repulsor beam i like the idea of that i like the idea of my doubles which means i get rid of this problem is that's a lot of doubles to get right off the bat and where are the odds i draw a four um, I mean, shoulder cannon is probably what we want to stick with, right? Because just long run, I think that's going to help, especially with those those enemies that were giving us like tough and whatnot. I think that's what's going to help. The four damage is nice. I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I think we're going to get rid of that. I'm keeping this because there are some high. A lot of my allies are high cost allies, so I'm hoping I draw one of them. I know it's it's a lot to hope for, but I'm hoping. Plus, we can shuffle Repulsor Beam back in the deck with our special ability. That's the thought. Let's do that. Nope. That was... Terrible. It's a terrible hand. Holy cow. Alright. Let's shuffle Repulsor Beam back in. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Please, please. Okay. Now, let's start off. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We'll throw away, go down swinging Avengers Assemble to get in our shoulder cannon. Um, now I might as well keep my doubles. Sure, surely something good will come out, right? Um, upgraded chassis, I guess I keep. Flip over, do five. I really hate this starting hand. This is really bad. So let's, let's do one. Let's get the free hit. Just start doing that. And I'm going to thwart right off the bat. I'm going to try to keep this low. Um, I think I'm going to try to keep that low. Gosh, that. Hold on. I'm just thinking this through for a second. Actually, I think I did this wrong. I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm, I spent these two cards on Shoulder Cannon. I'm going to take that back for just a hot second. I'm going to put him back to his thing. I'm going to put this back. Just, I'm thinking this through a little bit differently. I'm actually going to use Power of Leadership and the other two cards to play the chassis thing. I'm going to flip over and give myself a tough status. Because the one damage, I mean, just doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense right now. It's not, not worth it. We'll... we'll get one damage the next turn um let's just draw more cards see what we get then we're still gonna thwart for the one just to keep that down i think that's the better move, actually. but i think you're right i'm gonna have to flip a lot um so i think it's really good all right let's refresh all right again so two three four five at least i got black panther that's something I could probably go down swinging with him at least, or maybe Avengers Assemble. Right, so. Okay, that's fine. This goes up by one. These each go down. He's going to attack. I'm going to let it obviously hit me so that uh, tough works. Give the villain a tough status card. Like, that is just getting bad luck. Uh, so that hit me, so I locked my top. Add card. Let's go ahead and up. Oh my god. Just go ahead and upgrade or support you control. Go on, it's going poorly, guys. Going really poorly. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Stop. So. 
What? What events do we have going on? Go down swinging. Okay. <laughs> let's do. Let's do both of our doubles to get Black Panther out there. Um, I'm gonna do go down swinging. The Avengers Assemble is just gonna be too expensive. It doesn't really work well with him. Um. Gosh, I hate that 2-4. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's do the damage to knock off the tough and do the damage to do two. The tough and two. Just yeah, doing at this point. Oops. Um I guess we keep targeted strike. I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. Because that's going to go up. I mean, I guess we can remove all the threat then. Yeah, let's keep it. Or do we flip right now? Well, we're going to lose a random card. Because if we flip right now, that goes up to two. That's two. And he only needs two. Now we're not going to flip. We'll stay here. All right. Let's refresh. The so two. Three. Four. And I can get Giant Man out there, that's nice at least. But he's all attack and not what we need right now. I tell you, I tell you. We're just not having a good one. Okay. Let's get to two. That's fine. We are going to just take the hit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry before I even get there. Uh, Discard one card random from your hand. We really need all of our cards. Let's go down to second from the bottom. Of course it is. That gets thrown away. Now he's gonna attack us. We're just gonna take it. <laughs> Five damage. We need it the other way around. All right, let's see what our bad card is. Black order. All right, we know to get rid of that right away. That's that's fine. Oh jeez. The problem is. Can't really thwart that off yet. Gosh, we are in a terrible position. So we probably need to do target strike and just get rid of this, right? We can't we can't mess around with that. It will mess us up. Yeah. Let's throw away Ant Man or Giant Man. Play Target Strike to remove one ammo and oops, I used it too. Um, remove three threat from a scheme. Gets rid of that, so at least we don't have to worry about that. Isn't it discarding? You're confused. Yes, you are confused. Good call. Good call. Thank you. Oh, so I can't do. My thwart action then oops that was upside down so what i'll do is thwart first remove the confused then do target strike um i want to do go down swinging but i don't think i'm going to because I need to get this down to zero, I think. I'm gonna flip over. I think that's just what has to happen right now. So I lose, go down swinging, but that's just, it's the smarter play right now. So we'll do that. Work for two. He gets taken out. I'm pretty sure I lose, go down swinging too, I assume. So that's that. Um. Let us flip. There's a Hulk Orber ammo. It's just fine for right now. We're going to flip. Let us 
get upgrade chassis back in there. Shuffle it back in with our special ability. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to throw away Queen Carrier. I just I don't see that panning out. Like I'm, it already feels somewhat late. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Queen Carrier. I shouldn't be in this deck. All right, let's draw back up. So we'll refresh for one, two, three, four, five, six. A team training Black Knight go down swinging full auto last stand. And all my allies are in here. Not all of them. No, there's only like two in here. Gosh. Okay. Alrighty. I get to one. Uh, he's going to activate, which is going to reduce this. So after last invocation counter is removed, um, exhaust each upgrade you control. I have none. But I am stuck. That gets removed. Um, he's going to scheme. So schemes for two, three, four. So that's going to bring us up to five total. Four, uh, five. And then we get our backer. Holy cow. Play with three invocation counters. Which one's that one? Uh, oh, the discard upgrade and you get stuck. Okay. Maybe I didn't shuffle this deck well enough. Uh, okay. Okay. Card gain surge. Okay. Two. I mean, this is like the worst luck, right? Card gain surge. Oh, Shadows of the Past. <laughs> and that. Okay. Oh, he, he did a quick strike too. Oh, wait, I, he can't get him on that side. I mean, that. For you all watching, that's that's the worst thing you've ever seen in your life, right? Like, that is the worst. And if you were away from this, go back like a minute when I started his turn. And let me know if that is the worst thing you've ever seen. I don't even know how many surges I had in there. A lot. A lot of surges. <laughs> That'd make a reel out of that or something. Holy cow. Okay. So, when defeated. So, we don't have to worry about that. So, one, two, uh, three, four. Because it's got a hinder one on it. Just put that up there. He has quick strike, mm -hmm. but I'm not on that side, so I don't do that. Uh, so that's that's that. Man, this is this might go down as the worst game of Marvel I've ever played in my life. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, um, that's okay. it's fun. Okay, so we might as well shuffle in one of our cards right we'll, we'll do targeted strike down shuffle that bad boy back in just in case why not okay got that so team training whatever black knight and I think it's tough, but it'd be nice to get an ally out there. To see how they don't get hit in the face again. Um, full auto. Shoulder cannon, black knight. Mm. Um... Oh, this Black Knight's just expensive, and essentially he's going to turn into a big shield. And my other issue... Okay, hear me out. This is going to be crazy. But we basically lost this game, so we might as well do something weird. Here's my thought. I don't flip. I just don't do it. And instead...
I put Black Knight out there. And I let him attack for a round. Let the whole thing go to the next game because it's going to happen anyway. Let him go on the next one. We'll get another Surge card out there. Be fine. I, yeah, I, I actually, I, I think I'm not going to flip. I need, I need to heal. Like, I just, I need to heal. And if I flip now, it does literally nothing for me except I get punched in the face. So we're going to try it. We're going to try something different. Why not? So we're going to throw away... Go down swing, team training, and shoulder cannon to play Black Knight. Because I still want to hold on to full auto, and I want to hold on to last chance. For reasons, I guess. So we're going to attack. And do our two damage onto Ebony Maul, right? Might as well do something respectable with our lives. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to hold on to last stand, just in case. Let us refresh. Three... Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. This goes up to six, which means, of course, we get to shuffle the encounter discard pile back in the deck. Yeah, I know. Normally, I would scoop, but this is the last game I'm playing for me. So I might, I might as well see this all the way to the end. Just why not? All right, so each player discards cards from the top of the spell environment is discarded and puts it into play in their play. So the good news is I might be able to discard like a ton of like bad cards, right? Because there's not that many a lot spell cards. So there's, there's a Vance I got rid of. There's the one bright side of having so many out there. There it is. Oh, it's Fireball too. That's cool. All right, so four counters. I'm actually running out of tokens because there's so many of these things out here. <laughs> but yes, Mark, you're right. I, I would, in any other sort of situation, I would have actually probably scooped after the, my draw. My draw was so bad. It's one of the worst draws I've gotten in a long time. So. All right, so remove one from each. Cool. Bunch of cracks, it's gone. Now scheming. Schemes for two. Uh, discard one card at random from your hand. Did you talk about the spider box? I, I, I mentioned it. The reason being is uh, we'll do second one down. Now uh, stand. One card I wanted. Um, hold on, hold on. Two onto that. He does one, so it's up to four. Okay. So I mentioned, I, I touched on it. I touched on it a little bit because I actually recorded a video because I want to do like a longer form thing that's not like mixed in here so people can search, you know, more traffic, all that fun stuff. Um, so I did a longer, longer thought on it, but my general take so far is I love it. I love what this box, the spider box is bringing. I am, I was already going to be excited for Gwen Stacy. I just like her as a character um, from the comics from when I was younger. Um, so I was already already excited for her. I am way more excited about Gwen Stacy now. Like way more excited. I think was that multiverse card where you um you know you discard it from the game, basically. Or no, not basically, you do discard it from the game and a bunch of stuff happens. I like that. I like that design decision. Um I hope they run with that in the future. I think that's so cool, especially for what it does. Um but I'm super excited for that. And I'm super excited that the Sinister Six isn't like it's not six encounters. Like, right? Like you have an encounter against the six of them. And I don't think it's all at once, right? I think they take turns. Don't care. I love it. I love that situation. I love that you're trying to escape something or whatever it is. I love everything about it. But like I said, I'll, I'll kind of go more into it in a video that I have to edit tomorrow and hopefully come out with the next day or two. Um, but I love it. I love it. Y'all, you you have to let me know what you think, Nolan, Mark, if you saw it too, or anyone else that's in here. Let me know what you thought of it. All right. When revealed, discard an upgrade you control. If you cannot, this card gains surge. Alter ego. This card gains surge. Remove one invocation spell from each spell environment in your play area. One, 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 one. Uh, discard one card random from your hand, and I am confused. Have to stunned. 
sure I don't screw up my tokens too much. Um, one card ran from your hand. And I'm stunned. Third one down. Oh, good. Full auto. Why not? And I'm confused. Why not? All right, cool. Let's let's end this. All right, let's just let's get painful. We're going to heal the three. We're going to flip. Her five ammo counters on like it's going to do something. Oh, okay. Let us do Repulsor Beam, remove an ammo counter, do four damage. We will do another two, so bring down the eight. Six, eight, and then we'll do another Repulsor Beam. Remove one ammo camera counter you have four damage bring down the four at least it's at least that's respectable right that's a respectable one we'll draw back up uh i think she sounds great as protection or a thwart or aggression any car group it's event response yes yes yeah i think she sounds nasty i think she she sounds very unique which is why i'm excited for her. miles I don't think is that unique of a hero just looking we haven't seen all of his cards yet i like the idea of the whole special thing like you play a card does a special thing on it it's kind of feels what a bit like nebula or whatever i guess it kind of feels like nebula um but not quite right i mean i shouldn't say that it, it's a little it's obviously different but miles to me just seems like a good all-around like black panther captain america type thing um type character so i'm honestly i'm less excited for him now granted one of his cards could just be like nuts right could absolutely be nuts so took a look earlier but what's that to me silk alien pull and discard shadows what did i miss that already all right hold on um heroes lcg hold on i saw that silk was an ally but i didn't really read her Look at this really fast. Scroll all the way down. Mm -mm -mm. Silk, 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 silk. After you play silk from your hand, if you control another web warrior card, search the encounter deck for a treachery and discard it. Not bad. I like that. Huh. Yeah, I, I I I like where they're at with the game now because they're willing to push things, right? They're willing to push some of the boundaries on the game, start bending the rules. Um, this is when like Lord of the Rings are taking off, Arkham Horror, same exact thing. So, all right, let's not let's not get too carried away with all this. So I am down a counter, so I can't do full auto, which is fantastic. Makes me super excited. Um. Let's think this through. Let's do. Let's do some fun, right? Let's see what happens. Um. Okay, what we're gonna do is do last stand. Black Knight's gonna attack for like five. We're gonna get this one out there. Black Knight gets discarded with last stand. Uh, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell is discarded. I don't know if there's a spell left. Oh, no, there is a spell left. Joke's on me. And three counters. We put on it, of course. One. Steve Kimmel will love that. Uh, okay. Three. That's all set up. That's fun. Now we get to do uh oh we have to attack to get rid of our stuff because then we are going to throw away strength and full auto because why not and use scorched earth to do three damage 
Oh, I have to put his thing out there, but he's down to 20 now. He was at 23. Do three damage to each enemy. Why not? Yellow. I have targeted strike left. That's silly, right? We don't really need to do anything with targeted strike. Because we're confused. So it's not like we can do anything. We need to do 20 damage. I'm going to throw it away. Four. We're gonna hope we can do 20 damage with three ammo counters. Wait, no, I lost all three. Zero ammo counters. I didn't lose them, I, I played them, I should say. No ammo counters. <laughs> uh, target Strike, Ant Man, Munitions Bunker, Iron Man, and Missile Launcher. Would have been cool. Alright, this goes up to five. He's going to activate. All right. Oh, I'm stunned again. That's good. Yeah, I was thinking I'm making a little too much of a comeback here. Surely it should stun me. Exhaust up each upgrade you control. You are stunned. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so now he attacks me for two plus three, four. Six damage. That's going to be another two. So I'm up to eight damage. It's fun. Let's see what a bad card is. Touch to Ebony Maw. Prevent all damage to Ebony Maw. After Abjunction prevents two or more damage from a single attack, discard it. It's a good one. It's a good card. Why not? Why not, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's do... One, two, three. To get Iron Man out there. Uh, we can look for a tech upgrade. Is there one worth looking for? Um, actually, I don't even think I want a tech upgrade. I don't think it's going to help me at all. So we're just going to put him in. I'm going to attack slash get rid of my stuns. And let us attack with Iron Man to take out Living Laser. Okay. Let us refresh. I have Ant Man left, which I'm going to hold on to. So one. Two, three, four, five. Oh, there's my guns. Yay. This goes up to six. And there it is. Deal four damage, deal four damage to your identity. You lost. Nice try. You're terrible. Alrighty. Well, that was something. <laughs> um, yeah, I think leadership just wasn't the right build for this. Um, War Machine needed justice. Or I needed... Actually, let me phrase this. I probably needed... Uh, cheaper i need cheaper allies to just be able to get out there for for a turn or two and then like use as meat fodder um i had too many event cards which were useless like i never i never played uh avengers assemble i never played mighty avengers so i, I could have cleared up three four cards right there had more allies to choose from uh, like iron heart probably should have been in there it was silly that she wasn't I do think leadership would have worked if I had just focused on getting cheaper allies out there more constantly and having them thwart on the main scheme. I think that was my, my downfall for expert. But it was, it was I mean, the, the game previous to this one was the one that I would have won with. So whatever. Oh, well, um, but it was a lot of fun, but hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, at least watching the very first one. The very first one was a good victory. Solid victory on that normal. Um, but this is fun. I, I I enjoy War Machine. So I am now right after this. I'm going to be recording a quick video. Um, kind of going a little more in depth of things I like, dislike, whatever. About War Machine. Going to put up on my Patreon page. Make sure you check out there. Um, the way I'm doing Patreon now is whatever you feel like giving me. I think it's a minimum of a dollar. Um, gets you access. So this is... So there's some stuff on there but i'm gonna be currently or i'm gonna be constantly building it out more importantly though tomorrow next day somewhere in there will be my video 
talking exactly what Nolan asked about, which was uh, talking about the Sinister Box. Um, so look for that on YouTube. It'll be out there, hopefully. Once again, make sure to like, um, subscribe, hit follow, all that fun stuff. And everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Mark, Nolan, uh, who else we had? Lord of Morthan, thank you. Jonesy, I think, was here. Yeah, Jonesy was here for a while. Um, Jamie Robertson, thank you all for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, my next stream is, what day is today? Thursday. So Saturday, I'm streaming Arkham Horror. Um, I'm building a deck to take on the new campaign box once it comes and doing a murder at whatever hotel. And then Sunday, I am streaming with the Living Card Gamer on his Twitch channel. We're doing something against the hood. I don't remember what we're playing or what we're not playing. So make sure to check that out. Check out everything we're doing. Thank you all once again. I really do appreciate it and take care.